another episode of The Modern Day Mom Presents 100% Mummify, brought to you by The Modern Day Mom Body Butters in collaboration with Daily Guide Network and Culture Management Group. Today, I love this episode. What? Well, I love all my episodes because the women are just very impactful, um, inspiring, and they have stories to tell. They have their journeys that they're, they are comfortable here speaking about. And this woman is one of the first, or is the first, I'm gonna let her hype her. I'm gonna let, make sure she hypes herself because she has to, women to enter the boho industry in Africa. And she's made a great impact. Um, and I've, I've collaborated with her over the years, which I'm grateful for um, on events. And she supported me and I support her. She's a mom, she's a mompreneur, she is everything and more. Victoria, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Vanessa. <clears throat> I'm happy to be here. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I told you, you made my day. Oh, <laughs> and we haven't seen each other for so long. Yeah. It's been about four years. Four years. That is so bad. <laughs> and I know, and during that time, so much has changed. Mm, a lot. For the both of us. Yeah. <laughs> so, first of all, Let's start off with you being one of the first, or yeah. the first woman to enter the boho industry. And let us know how that happened. What pushed you to enter that industry? Okay, so um, I was trained as a journalist. Okay. Yeah. And a bit of HR here and there. Right. But um, where I found myself um, in my early 20s was all about um, water. Right. And actually, when I was growing up, I was selling water. Yeah, you said pure yes, water, isn't pure it? pure water yes. on the street. So yes. I, I was hawking on the street. And I got in contact with someone that also had money okay. and wanted to do business. And okay. I said, why not water? Right. You know, because I've been there before. Yes. And it was quite easy right. for the person to do it. So we researched, you know, and all that. And we realized that, okay, this is what we need to do. These are the things we need to buy mm -hmm. and all that. So whilst doing that, mm -hmm. and the person decided to be more technical. And I said, okay, I want to help you. Okay. I want to also learn about it. Okay. That's it. Wow. Yeah. So when this, how old were you? You have four. Four kids. Four. four. How old? were your kids at the time? Um, when we started the water business, mm -hmm. my first was six months in my belly. Six months? <laughs> in my belly. In your belly. Yeah. And right now he is 20? 20. <laughs> six months. So actually I was pregnant and still doing um, yeah. water. Yeah. So, okay, so your eldest now is 20. Yes. Your second born is? 16 in, 16. in a few days. Your third born, 14, going to 15 in a couple of months. And your last born, there's a gap. Huge. A huge gap. Your last born. I be, thought I was done. You thought you, thought you were done with the three? Yeah, like three. I'm like two girls, one, hey, two boys, one girl. So I'm like, I'm done. And I'm like, oh, okay, I want to have one more before yes. turning 40. Okay. I really want to have my God give me a girl, and you know, you so that to girl. be. Two, balanced two. out in a yeah sense. and yeah. i did get a girl and that's why i took that long yeah, yeah. And, and she's almost three yeah all right so you're a single mom i am you are yeah two boys two girls one boy that's 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a businesswoman and yes. your business keeps growing it keeps growing and, and so you're an award-winning like you're an award-winning <laughs> mompreneur. Like you, you are really like a boss in the game. I'm always on the move. Always. 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 How? Yeah. How do you do it? I, I don't know. <laughs> like how are you able to still manage your household yeah. with your children and still continue to grow your business? Yeah. I believe that the, um, what helped me most was... Um, with my first mm -hmm. and second, mm -hmm. I was a stay-at-home mom. Okay. So I groomed them, I trained them. Right. You know, they have so many things in common that they know this is how it's supposed to be done, how to relate to people, okay. you know, in the good, good girl, good boy okay. situation. So it's a bit 
easier okay now because they can take care though my first is in the university right um he's not always around the second two is gone to the boarding school oh she's fully child yeah okay but so it's not easy the third is so busy with soccer yeah. so all day when they are around they support a lot i okay. know that i can even go and have my girls night out right. yeah right. because they are, they can take care of their um smaller one okay. but my biggest support is my mom i swear moms are blessings <laughs> like no because even though my mom yeah. is not in ghana yeah even from afar yeah the support yeah. she gives i'm yeah. like what would i do without you i know <laughs> it's my mom my wow. mom is you know though the nanny is there yes. but my mom is the biggest support wow. so um <clears throat> i work i my my work is not eight to five it's my not. work is 24 it's hours because your brain needs to do calculations plan yes. you know think ahead think now yes. think about the past yes. so it's a whole lot yes you know, and when I get into those moods, the children know that they are not supposed to get close to mommy. Right. But when mommy is done and I come home, it's like you have to allocate time for yes. everyone and everything. That's yes. what it's about. If you don't, you'll be a mess. That's true. And you know, I travel to a lot yes. here in Ghana, outside. Yeah. So you need to. So if you know you're going to be a mompreneur and you have an issue with your parents please go go and fix it yes because you need the support <laughs> you, like 100 yes. over 100 yes. percent you know and they are the ones my dad is my stepdad actually yeah. who, who um trained me he's like 80 years plus oh, wow. but he's in love with the little one so oh, he has time yeah. for, 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 the, for her that's beautiful yeah what would you say has been the major difference between when you had your children the first three compared to now you're almost three year old. What, yeah. what can you say, wow, the times have changed or I have, now I see I've changed. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what would you say? Yeah, um, life has changed <laughs> because when I had the three kids, I was married. Okay. You know, so it was more of, although I was still doing everything by myself, still supporting my husband, still doing, uh, being the HR for that business okay. because I was working with my ex-husband. Okay. Um, I was doing all the cooking, you know, cleaning. But with this one, divorced and with, I would say, baby mama. Okay. And that's <laughs> no, I'm not, not shy no of it. About <laughs> no, uh, I'm not, like, I wanted it that yeah, way. Yeah. A, not really, 50%. But, but it's I like, mean, it's life. Yeah. It happened. Yeah. So the difference is, number one, I was married then okay. with the three. Um, and this one, I'm, I'm, I'm not married to the partner. Right. In fact, we are not together. Okay. Now, after COVID baby, <laughs> the <kind> energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's me because I'm growing. I don't have that energy right. anymore. Or if it's, no, I think it's them. <laughs> it's, it's a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Like the energy she brings, like from my son to the second day, like we all, we can't. <laughs> Yeah, she wants to do things her own way. Yes. She's, you know, it's and extremely smart. Yes. Yeah, so you need to keep up. And you know, we are now the internet age. Yes. So they know things Fast. a bit faster than so you as a mom. That time, eh, not really. Right. But now, yeah. she'll come home and be saying some stuff. I need to go and research. Yeah. I wasn't doing much of research yeah. before. It's a different ball game. Exactly. Yes. It's a whole yeah. lot and life your body because like we were talking about that yeah mm -hmm. like my body has changed extremely yeah. like yeah who is this person mm -hmm. so you have to, i i decided to come to um at a point where i need to accept it right because that is life yes after three kids i was still you know slim right. flat tummy you know smart and all that but now it's, it's, it's a different world. I have to accept my body as it is And that's now. okay. Yeah, that's okay. That is so okay. That is okay. We're growing. Yeah. We are growing as women. Mm. We can't stay the same forever. Yeah, exactly. And every pregnancy too is different. It's different. And, it and that's what we don't understand. Way. Yeah. It's so I was quite cute when I was pregnant with the fourth. Right. But after, let's say, getting to two years, then 
everything started changing. Okay. You know. So I think we have to accept it. Mm -hmm. And as time goes on, allow time to do its work. Yeah. Don't force anything. Mm -hmm. Now I'm starting to do little, little exercise here and there. Okay. So once you start doing the walking, doing, you know, like the war Pilates, mm -hmm. all those things, mm -hmm. you start doing consciously. Now you start thinking about your food. Right. But I don't have to rush it. No. One step at a time. Yeah. I always, that's one of my, the biggest advice I give yeah. on like my platform. Yeah. I'm like, don't rush. Don't rush. Take it. your time. Yeah. Um, Cause like I said, for me, from first with Aaron to baby A mm -hmm. is a vast difference. Yeah. You know, like Aaron, within two weeks, I had lost the weight naturally. It wasn't, I didn't even, I didn't even want to lose it. That's the thing that <laughs> killed me too. And people would ask, how did you do it? How did you do it? It just happened. It just happened. With baby A, it was like, I would, after I had him, I would go to the shop trying on, I'm like, nothing, I'm not nothing even in this size, yeah. the next one. But then I was like, I'm growing. Yeah. So it's okay, you know? And I think we shouldn't put pressure mm -mm. on ourselves. And I think when you put the pressure is when it doesn't happen. It doesn't, true. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We think we have 24 hours. We don't. It's we true. actually don't. So this moment, I'm enjoying it. I'm as enjoying this body. Yeah. You know, and as time goes on, I feel like I can do something different. I'll try. If it doesn't work, fine. If yeah. it works, that's okay. Sometimes we need to accept some things. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, we, and especially mm -hmm. our mental health. Mm hmm because we allow ourselves, look, look at the work I'm doing. I travel, I have workers, I go on the field all dirty, yes. I come home, baby will see me like, mommy, mommy, I have to <laughs> live with all my debt, you know, and all that. I'll pick you up, I'll make, the last time it was raining. Mm -hmm. Do you know what we did? Mm -hmm. I picked Jojo up, that's my fourth, mm -hmm. and we, we just, in the rain, Aww. started playing, running, yeah. dancing. And every time it rains, it's like, Mommy, rain. Yes. <laughs> like, let's go and dance. Let's and go. Play. Exactly. Yeah. And it was refreshing. It right. was relaxing. We need to calm down and think about our health, especially mm -hmm. our mental health. Mm -hmm. Because as a parent, if you are not okay, how can you mm -hmm. take care of your home? So, speaking of the mental health, because I know you spoke about. With the three, you you were married. Yeah. And then with the one, you're not, right? Yeah. How would you say, if it did mentally affect you, from going from, okay, I have that support in a sense, to like, okay, I'm, I'm doing this, you mm -hmm. know? How, yeah. how would you say that has affected you? Or maybe it hasn't. Um, personally, it's because I would... I live my life a bit not too righteous, but um, good. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't have really much of skeleton. Okay. You know, so it was a big blow for my parents. Okay. Uh, parents. People very close to me, like, so it's it's, it's the society, society, you know, society yeah. the pressure, like, mm -hmm. what they think of me. I, I was giving them room, like. Oh, I've disappointed myself. Right. No, come on. We, I could have as well aborted the pregnancy you could have, anyway. But then yeah. At the same time, like, you're a grown woman. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> yeah. you can take care of your child. Exactly. Yes. So I came to that realization. I said, my life, in fact, if one of my sisters said, you're going to have a child out of wedlock, you wow. know, yeah, it's a whole lot. It became a big issue. So I'm like, oh, hold on. <laughs> this is my life. Yes. I got disappointed by the man because we, we talked marriage and everything, right. but I still didn't go through. Right. And it's, we even agreed to have the baby. Wow. So if it didn't happen, that doesn't mean I'm a failure. Exactly. That doesn't mean I'm a loser. Exactly. No, this is my life. And this is a blessing. Right. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to do this. Yes. Yes. And you... You're content you know. with your decisions. Yes, but I now am. they've all come to terms, right? Are you kidding me? Right? <laughs> they have. Yeah. And they love her. Aww. They're like, okay. So later, then my mom, you know, came around. Yeah. It's like, you know what? Well, just do this. But you're not going to have the child in Ghana. Just get out of yeah, here. And then you know, go and any other place, go and have back. the child, and then come back. Because people will see you and it will become worse. 
people will see you and they will talk. People, young girls look up to you and they, they talk and all that. Yeah. So just go and have the child, come back, and everything will be okay. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so I think with mental health, we allow ourselves, um, you think you are strong, you think you are mature, mm -hmm. but one way or the other, it gets to you. Yes. It does. Yes. You know, so that's how it affected me. Wow. But after that, um, when I came, and you know, I think the people that mattered to me were my kids, what they thought of me. So before I get pregnant, I called them. Okay. And I said, um, mommy wants to have another baby. Okay. So you, you sat down and spoke to them? Yes. Okay. I speak to my kids a lot. We communicate a lot. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mommy wants to have another baby. What do you think? Okay. And they all gave me their perception. I said, okay, what do you, what happens if mommy doesn't marry the man? Mm -hmm. And I remember my third junior was like, he was 12 then, okay. or almost 30. Yeah. He's like, but you've been married before. What is a big deal if you're going to have another child? Wow. And you're not I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So what they thought of me was more important to me than any other person. And I think that's what's important. Yeah. 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 That's, wow. That really helped me. Yeah. That really helped me a lot. That's and encouraging. When I traveled, they were checking on me, and when the baby dropped, they oh so my happy. God. Yeah. I remember my first Brian just, you know, did a football jersey oh. for the baby, got some stuff. Right. Yeah. Because you involve your, your kids in, in, in so this, decision making. Sorry to cut you. Um, so, okay. This is another thing I wanted to ask the dynamics, because. You know, the three have the same father. Yeah. And then baby girl has a different father, yeah. right? For me, I always, I think I've been talking about blended family now for the last two months. I'm yeah. on a podcast talking about blended family. <laughs> but in a, it's a blended home because, yeah. you know. But I never do a difference of, oh, you are, it's not a step home in my home or okay. a half home. I like that. You know, it's, I like it's a that. whole home. And yeah. I've said it before, that's because of how I was raised. Mm -hmm. I grew up with, I call him my bonus dad, but I just call him my dad, but for him, my bonus dad, from when I was like four. Mm. And he still, from day one, it was, I was his firstborn. He got into the marriage with my mom with no kids. Wow. So I was his first. Yeah. Yeah. And then that was, I was four. At nine, that's when my sister came. Yeah. And that's his second. He considers mm. her his second and yeah. my youngest sister the third. Okay. So that's how I grew up. I that's didn't grow it. up in a step home. Step home. You are different. Yeah. Even my sisters, there was not even a talk like, you have different, like they just <laughs> eventually figured it out. But it's never affected our yeah. relationship. Mm. So I think that's so important to make sure that it's always that bond, mm. you know, between the children. Like even if different fathers, if you bring in your partner's children. Yeah. I think that's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very. Um, my kids, they are, my baby's dad, they are cool, mm -hmm. very cool. Good. <laughs> you know, with him. And um, I, I would like to, I want to have another baby. You do? Yes. I don't You're know. You're not why. done, Victoria. No. <laughs> I want to have another You're not baby. Tired. So, guess what? That baby is going to be a different dad, a different That's dad. That's true. You know, That's and. True. Um, but I'm so, I still need to talk to my kids about that. About that too. Because they'll be like, Ma, we've given you one go ahead. And you want another go In ahead? In fact, Brian warned me. My first is yeah. like, Mommy, I'm the first. You have what? We are like, what, four here? Yeah. And daddy already has kids with the other woman, oh, like yeah. two. So it's a lot. Like what? A I'm the first one. one. Yeah. <laughs> so they have siblings from their dad's yeah, side. Yeah, they okay. do. They love them too. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. But you want more? I want more. I want like, I said I want 11, but I don't think eh, I can. Victoria, so. <laughs> rewind. You said 11. Yeah, because I'm seeing Brian, that said you like, so you have like a good seven, job. Seven more to go I, that you I, want. No, but I can't. Come on, I'm 40, 41 now. I can't do that. Ooh. So maybe one more okay. with a husband. Okay. I'm not doing, you know, yeah. with a husband. Yeah. Because I'm going to have it. Unless maybe I get a man who already has kids. And I still want more. I but still want still one want more. You still want your one more. My one more. Wow. Yeah, I still want one more. Because I train my kids so well. They right. are, and come on, you've been my kids. They're smart. And I think also <laughs> I say something about the ages, right? Yeah. Your three eldest 
are like in a group of age together. Yeah. And then the youngest is like <laughs> by herself. Yeah. And even though I'm always 50-50, sometimes I'm like, okay, it's not about just the child. You know, no. you have to like, yeah, I want to give them a sibling close in age, but it's also about you. It's about so you, So you have the to mom. make sure like, okay, yeah, this is actually what yeah. I want. It's not just yeah. because. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward in retiring quite early. Well, you, with all that you do, <laughs> I'm surprised you're not retired already. Yeah. <laughs> Because you do it all. I do it all. Yeah. yeah. I do it but all. But you want to retire early. Yeah, a bit early. So I want to have that pension, real, real pension, baby. Okay. To stress my life. Okay. To keep me going. <laughs> no, because, going. They, yeah, they, 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 they yeah. do that a lot. Yeah. Especially with this one, she like oh, On all over the place. Yeah. But are you, you know. with, um? okay, so, you know, obviously when they say 35 and over, geriatric age, more high risk, as you're getting older, is even more high risk. Yeah, it's true. Um, and I know that from personal experience yeah, too. Yeah, it's very true. Um, are you are you nervous about that or? It's fifty fifty. It's always fifty fifty. Yeah. yeah, it's always fifty fifty. Yeah. It's a risk you need to take. It's true. Yeah, and you're willing to take that. Oh yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm so happy your family came around though. Yeah. Because they are your your support. <laughs> they are. They are your rock. Yeah. My mom, mommy. I think my mom had worried and warned me, like, hey, I'm growing old. So, wait, so, <laughs> no, so then definitely the next cannot be, you, it will be, your mom will be like, listen. Oh, she needs to relax. My mom needs to chill. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, she needs to chill and all that. But we'll do it. Yeah. We, we, we will do it. So, okay, so, you know what, because we just spoke about, you know, men and things let's just touch on this dating in in, in ghana Ooh. with children <laughs> because there's this thing i've been seeing on twitter this actually this past week yeah and i get so upset and i said this in another podcast where they're like oh born one women so the yeah. other day i tweeted and i said so are there no born one men and Wait. i said this in another podcast oh you haven't seen my post no i'm encouraging young girls don't ever go in for a born one born two born three man well, why? No, it's depressing. No, I don't think Ew, so. No, no, no. no. You Just, see, that's why they say that about... You, exactly. I don't you see, think so. You see, it's a two-way thing. Well, yes. If you, man, you are saying that you don't want to go in for okay. a born one woman... Yes. Then why should a young lady without a child so, come in and come and take your right, baggages? Right. There is this baby mama drama. Yeah. That's you understand? <laughs> there is this, I don't have time. I have to visit my son and yeah. then, you know, time. It's a lot. Share it. It's a lot. And I so, feel like it's, it's to be honest, mm -hmm. I feel like there's, even though they say it's more drama with the women, I think it's more drama with the men. Look, you have no idea. I've been the there. Women I have the been there. Because I feel like we I have know how there. to do, we know restrictions, we know exactly. boundaries. Exactly. Exactly. they don't know. They don't know. Boundaries. Exactly. So I tweeted the other day, I was like, you guys never give women grace. It's hmm. always the women being born one, but there's born one men roaming around these born streets one, too. Born one man, born two born men, 50. born three men. Yes. You know, even born nine men with different women. Yes. And the drama in his life, they will come for you young girl without a child and you need to accommodate all this nonsense. Yes. So I'm, I'm really advocating for that, that don't, don't do that. Yeah, I think you have to be, I don't know, you have to be very wary about these situations. Yeah. I think, okay, as you get older, like our age group, definitely whoever is in our lives will most likely yeah, have, have a child. children, yeah. you know, but I think we're more mature mm. and know how to handle, handle and deal with it. Exactly. As a young 20 year, you would never see me say I'm dating anyone yeah. with a child or children. Exactly. Because I'm already a baby girl myself. Mm. Do you get You but get it. as we're getting older, <laughs> yeah. we're, realistically, most the majority of these, if he majority doesn't, sometimes me, I'll yeah. say, "Hey, are you okay? Like, yeah, yeah. Is what's going working? on? Yeah, you know? yeah, I get but it." But at this age, then, but we, we like I said, we're more mature, mm -hmm. so we know how to, yeah, manage, manage. You know, my kids, your kids, we are good. Yes. We can, yeah. But with a young lady, she doesn't have any experience, yes. you know, and then you take her through that. So just like you, man, you don't want to have a one, one or one two. On, hopefully, you also don't have a one one. So you go in for, yes, you know, yes. for someone who doesn't. Yes. But if you have a one one and one two, and you are also typing that that crap, yes, then that means you cry when you papa exactly. because um, you don't want to go in for a one one or one two. But, but you, you want them you, to come for you. 
But you know what's also interesting? <laughs> I have male friends that a few years back, I guess they thought they were more youthful. They would always be like, no, V, I would never date a born one. I would never date a born one. I'm like, okay, you're you there. You're growing old. I don't care. I'm not trying to date you, so it doesn't matter. But now that they've hit the 40 mark, yep, they they're don't like, care. you know what? They it's don't not mind. a problem, you know? <laughs> if she comes with a child, yeah. as long as there's no drama. Yeah. And I'm like, look at you, because yeah. you know now, yeah. you've aged. Yeah. Who, who, you, yeah. you know? When you're aging, all you need in life is someone who can give you peace of mind. Yes. Joy. Like, yes. there's this beautiful joy. Yes. And that is what now they are looking for. Yes. They are not looking for the bum bum or the slim thing. Yes. They're just looking they just... for that. And it's surprised you, most of these born ones, born two, they've, they've seen Pepe. So some of them, I can say majority, it's not all, majority, they are all about, mm, I think the man I'm going to get next time, I'm, he's going to be my king. Yes. He's going to be this. And they, we cherish them. Ex exactly. Like literally. <laughs> yeah, it's true. exactly. It's true. Exactly. And that's what is happening. But unfortunately, you don't see the men praising. No. No. There's only a few, a it's handful a few. Yeah. that would. Yeah. I, have, I still have that friend. I have a friend that um, got, got involved with the one one. He was doing everything. Mm -hmm. He, as for him, he doesn't have a child. Right. He was doing everything for this woman, but unfortunately, the lady was too much. Okay. You know, took the man for granted. Yeah. So someone like that, with that kind of experience, he wouldn't want to go in and will advise. Yeah. But your story cannot be the same yes. as that person's it's true. story. Just go in and experience it, it and see how yeah. it is. For me, also, I don't believe in love me, love my dog. I'm sorry. You don't? No. No. Do you, you know see, why? Oh, we have only a few <laughs> minutes left, so wait. Let me say this. Do you know why? Why? Because um, if my child has a father, mm -hmm. I want my child's father to be 100% responsible for his child. And that's fine. But, okay, and I'm talking about this from things I've seen, mm. right? I've seen situations where people have entered relationships, like a mom, she has her child, she's with a guy. Mm. And he, he, yeah, he loves the woman, but it's like the child is like, no, that's the extreme situation. There I should be like some sort of like me, or loveness there. You, you are loving my child no, like who, your own. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, what are you saying? What I'm saying <laughs> is, I'm not going to give you the man the responsibility. Of course not. No, but, but that is he what is happening. No, because there, there's a, that is there why a lot of guys are running that's away true. from what And that's why me, the, I feel like. And, but there are those men too that want to do take that even though the they they know the child has their own father they know that because maybe they are the men in the household they are the ones that are, the child yeah, provide sees more yeah so they want to make sure that yeah. listen you two you're my son yeah. you yeah. know so yeah. i'm gonna but, that is but it's amazing. not about the woman that when is, it's different when it's like no, you have to do this. And the guy is like... But that's what I have seen. Yeah, and, that, no. And most of the guys around you, like, it's extra baggage. Yeah. You understand? But it's a whole lot. So then I feel like for them. women should just go in for... I, I personally feel women should go in for the men who will genuinely by themselves take on that responsibility. That's them themselves yeah. you shouldn't have to ask ask because if you have to ask then i feel like there's still that slight thing of well it's not mine yeah but then it's like yeah oh gosh. i mean i once dated a guy he yeah. he he's like oh how are the kids have they eaten you know and you you bring these snacks and yeah. it was yeah. i'm not asking you to do yeah. that but yeah you see you oh, know he's Victoria, <laughs> we have to wrap up we're, we're gonna have to do this again we have to we have to but before yeah. we wrap up Please, what advice would you give to the modern day mom? Yeah. Okay. Modern day mom. We are not looking at single moms, right? Just the whole Every general. Every mom in general. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. Oh, and this then has been the health. theme this season. Yeah. Take care of your mental health, especially. You need to. Yes. Because at the end of the day, you, it is you before any other thing. So take yes. care of your mental health. If you're tired, rest. If the baby poo poo, does whatever do if i clean just put the babies just rest. rest ask your partner to give you some time to rest yes i agree you need it you need it yeah victoria thank you let me give you a hug <laughs> a big one thank you so much <laughs> i'm so glad you came you're welcome and we definitely have to do this again yes we have thank to thank you we have to yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah? Yay!